Hello, my name is Bill Haley for Haley 2024, The Movement's Government Reform Ideas. Today we're going to talk about competitive currency. So you know um, one of my big ideas are competitive governance. So look over the full constitution for that, but let's concentrate strictly on the currency today. So we're going to get rid of the current currency, the U.S. dollar, the Federal Reserve System and all that. A very fair and um, responsible transition away from that. We're going to fulfill all our promises of the money that's out there right now, put assets behind it. But let's go over the new currency that I, I'm proposing. So I'm proposing about a thousand different competitive currencies throughout America. So with my constitution, we're probably going to have about a hundred to more than a hundred states. Um, we're going to change that around a little bit. So we're probably going to have about a hundred states and um, about 10 states, I mean, 10 currencies per state. So every state's allowed to have as many currencies as they want, as long as they can get above 5% of um, the usage for that CRA, for that um, competitive regulatory agency. So as long as 5% of the people gather, you can have your own currency. So everybody has to have fully backed up currency and um, we're gonna use one standard. So let's go through the currency real quick and we're gonna um, do this in about a nine part series. Then I'll try to do one longer video that's going to be um, all of it put together. But let's split it into nine sections right now because it's a lot to it. So Haley 2024, the movement talks about competitive currency. That's my big idea. I mean, competitive governance, I'm like, sorry. Competitive governance. So all of government is gonna change dramatically, but the currency is gonna have a unique uh, feature to it. Okay, so nine part explanation. We're gonna talk about creating a monetary currency asset, asset portfolio called an MCAP. We'll, we'll discuss that on this video. Second video is going to be on the operations of an MCAP. The third video is going to be on the back dollar, the standardized units, and how to synchronize all the values together. Gain and loss, because we back it up, we're going to have gains and losses. We're going to discuss what that's all about. MCAP settling up because of the gains and losses that people use in different currencies and how that's going to work. Assets of an MCAP, what's going to be the assets? Stocks, bonds, precious metals, a lot of different things can be assets. We'll go over that in that video. Keeping the value of assets honest, you have, um, uh, that's going to be a big concern, but it's not that big of a problem. We can solve that problem. The Federal Reserve and the transition, how we're going to transition. Um, the practical use of competitive um, currencies uh, is going to be uh, my last one and just wrapping it up. So we're three minutes into this video already, and we're, let's go over this. Creating a mo mo monetary currency asset, asset portfolio. So all 1,000 currencies are gonna have this. So everyone's gonna have a separate one, a separate business, a separate governance, if you will, but they're gonna be competitive. You, everybody gets to use what currency they want to use because we're gonna have standardized units, we're gonna be okay. We'll discuss that in the other videos. So let's create one monetary currency asset portfolio. This is gonna be at state level, um, and there's gonna be about a dozen of these, 10 to 12 of these per state. So um, let's see how we do that. Okay, creating a monetary currency asset portfolio. Uh, monetary is obviously dealing with money. Currency is the currency. Assets, we're gonna have actual assets, something of real worth, portfolio, a grouping together. So MCAP is something I came up with that sounds really um, neat for a currency uh, because capital. Okay, MCAP starts with an empty storeroom. Before we do anything, we start with an empty storeroom. And um, this is going to be a virtual storeroom, a real storeroom. We're going to have a lot of different things because some things are valued virtually. Stocks, bonds can be virtual um, to a large degree, a certificate of ownership digitally and all that stuff. But we're also going to have real precious metals, real assets, um, real pieces of paper of a contract. We'll talk about the assets in another video. Add items of worth to the storeroom. A lot of different things. You, as long as you, when you add something, you can create currency from it. So you issue currency based on the exact value of the asset you put into the storeroom. So if somebody has an ounce of gold, they can put in what is about $1,500 right now, I believe, for um, gold right now. So if you put in an ounce of gold, you can get $1,500 of digital currency. If you put in um, a PepsiCo stock, Amazon stock, Exxon stock, something like that, whatever that worth of that stock is, $100, $500, I don't know what the values are right now, doesn't matter. 
you put in however many stocks you have that has a value you can take out in the digital they create digital currency from that the currency goes to the person that deposited the items of worth so it's all it's the ex exact um, exchange there the holder of the currency are the owners of the items of items of worth in the MCAP. They're the owners of the assets. So whoever owns the currency owns assets in there. The unit of currency is worth a percentage of the MCAP. And that percentage is obviously one one 100 over. That's what the per, a percentage is, 100 over. Number of units of currency issued. So if you have $100,000 worth of assets, you have a 100,000 um units of currency. So your percentage of that MCAP is one over 100,000. Or let's say you have $100 um, worth of assets in your portfolio in that MCAP, then it's worth 1%. So let's keep on going. An MCAP valued at $100 billion or 100 billion BD, that's the new unit of currency is the BD backed dollar. We'll discuss that in another video has 100 billion units. So 100 billion units and it's one over 100 billion um, is each unit of currency. So when you trade in your uh, one unit of currency, you can get out one, one billionth, 100 billionth of the um, assets in the storeroom. So obviously if you have one dollar, you're not gonna be able to get an ounce of gold. You're gonna need 1500 of those currencies to get that ounce of gold. But once you pull that asset out, the asset, the currency goes away too because the currency was made based off that asset. So once the asset is pulled out of the MCAP, out of that storeroom, the currency disappears because the asset disappeared. All items in the MCAP must be publicly listed with a price per item. So transparency is going to be significant in this. You're going to have um, Excel sheets or spreadsheets of all the items prices, where those um, items are, in what cities and different things. Everything has to be 100% honest, 100% um, visible and transparent. Okay, this is it for this video. Look at the other videos. We're going to talk about the other, other issues. So until the next video.